This is the grand finals of Jawbreakers, the Stunfest qualifier. The winner of this set gets a ticket to uh, France, to Stunfest itself, and gets to play in the bracket there. Hell yeah, you're in grand finals, Cherry. Let's go. And here we go. We're getting right into it. Are you ready? My goodness. Cherry, tearing all the way through. If I'm not mistaken, he was not nowhere near the highest seed. And Dio, if I'm not mistaken, may have been seed number one and number two. I could be I could be wrong about that. Oh, starting out with the fairies. I know that was pretty basic, but Dio is not the player I expect to fall for that. Okay. <laughs> I, I feel like Dio might also be a little bit thrown off considering the games he played earlier. Oh, that's true. There were so many matches that were just nonsense based entirely off the mind game 50-50s. He might not, might, he might not be down to play around with So let's see how this affects him in this set. That's Still a going smart angle choice, actually. Ups. Yeah. That up angle is very scary if you don't know what you're doing with it. Yeah, this is high octane already. <laughs> this is this corner. definitely grand finals. Definitely grand finals. Oh yeah, this is this is this is this is tight right now. <laughs> three stocks, three stocks. A little bit of low speed shenanigans. Cherry spacing himself for the pure aggression on Daiatsu's uh, attempt at getting a combo started. Max spike, oh, yes. nothing. This tournament's had so many fast high speed combos. So many fast bursts. We're only a minute and fifteen seconds into this game, and we're already. Oh my goodness, we're already down to three two. Parry smash. He actually parry He's baited dead. Dio, and the, the taunts are going back and forth. The wow, back and forth. Yeah. <laughs> this player's blood's probably like these players probably have like their veins pumping right now. This is why they're here. This is what they're here for. This is the ticket. My goodness. On top of his head, unfortunate. Very unfortunate. But this is such tight back and forth. This is exactly what you want to see. Cherry on the verge of losing game one right now. A parry, but he doesn't Whoa. actually lead into anything due to the angle that he got sent at. Dio's swing bait's amazing. Man, oh man. at the end. Dio game one. Let's see if that's a sign of things to come, or if Cherry's gonna keep showing us what he showed us against Lalu. Yeah, man, I have, there's just so much to talk about. By the way, guys, I would like to clarify real quick. Uh, this is a grand final set, meaning if Dio wins one set, Dio wins a set, that's it. It's over. He wins. If Cherry wins a set, it resets the bracket and he has to win one more set since he is coming from loser's side. He has to knock Dio into losers first in order to knock him out of the tournament. So two sets for Cherry or one set for Dio. That's going to determine who takes the ticket. <laughs> oh, boy. Always a story, Always a Cinderella story. Average, what so, do you think about the speed getting like up to really fast, like every single burst? I think that it is definitely a sign of very hard aggression. <laughs> they're playing against the game. They're they're definitely getting some parries mixed in there, but they're trying their hardest to take the other opponent by surprise. <laughs> and you know what? I'm not certain we're seeing enough mix-ups to justify the high speed yet, but. Whenever you get moves like that. <laughs> the down bunt. Mm -hmm. Seriously, uh, the first down bunt, by the way, was incredibly smart by Cherry. He down bunted it near the top of the screen and then respected Dio's swing. And that's why he was able to get that. He baited the early parry and just easily down bunted it. That was all. Uh, good, good, solid, solid fundamentals. <laughs> yeah, there's no way Dio's feeling oh, good after God. that, though. It's so even. <laughs> I cannot oh, like this match. Oh, see, is he gonna let him let him have it? He's trying to build up that speed big time. He wants to get into 120 before he brings it anywhere close oh to the nail. Keep in mind, uh, for anyone unfamiliar with the game, 120 is the minimum ball speed it has to be to kill your opponent in one hit. Yeah. So with Cherry juggling in the corner like that, that is a very aggro power play saying, I don't even need to, to nickel and dime you. I just need to get it up to speed and hit you in the face. Yeah, and realize just a couple of smash attacks will bring it up to that 120 threshold. It's pretty easy to get there. And the ball, ho oh, ho, oh, down button in the corner. Jerry with a two stock Another lead over down Dio. Button. Another down button. Goodness. And Dio's actually falling for more of these parry baits than I've been expecting. And that's game one for Cherry on the board. Let's go. Oh Let's it's go. One run right now. This oh really is Pog Champ, Pog Champ, fellas. 
This is such a good grand finals. I love these games right now. <gasps> This is crazy. In case you guys aren't aware, Daiatsu has been considered the most, like the the most experienced, the most valuable, the best player in Europe for a long time. Uh, stronger fundamentals than anybody else could even come close to matching. And Cherry right now, just pulling out all the stops. All of them. <laughs> it's, it's everything about this, oh, but he gets parried. Dio is not taking no for an answer. My goodness, you're going to take this ball and you're going to like it. He's not giving it back. My goodness, this is a battle of ball control. Cherry needs to try something different right now or Dio's going to take Grab another stop. <laughs> oh. <Let's go. laughs> you know what? Yes. I asked for something different and that is something <laughs> different. All right, all right, all right. That, that, that might have been real bias there for a second. I just wanted to see the power play, the grab especially. We're right back in it. Dots is still with the stock. Commentator's curse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what? I don't even think commentator's curse matters nearly so much in this, in this game. Everything about this is just tighten it back and forth, right in each other's face, so close. Tayo knowing where the spec is going to be, catching it up angle. That's going to seal it for him. And now Cherry down one stock. But a little bit of HP on Dio is actually being chipped away. Only three hits of minimum ball speed will take him out at this point. Oh, man, oh, man. That's a back spike? Interesting attempt for the spike. You, you expect the back spike because that's what he's done every other, every other instance in this tournament. So it's a very interesting choice to go for a straight spike and then try something else, but... Unfortunately, the option wasn't nearly enough to get him. Let's see if he can manage to salvage it this burst. He's down 3-1 right now, Cherry. Uh, Dio is... He's playing very aggressively, trying to wrestle the ball back. Yeah. He's... <laughs> Mom said it's my turn on the Xbox. But... Is it gonna be enough? Push box him. Push box him. Oh, he didn't push box him. Anyway. <laughs> uh, you know, that's an interesting mix-up on the serve, but I don't think you want to mind game your opponent to that degree right now, and it's not not going to do him any favors pissing his opponent off. And that's going to do it. That's going to do game two. Daiotsu, giving him the lead. That makes Cherry in his tournament life. And Daiotsu for the tournament win in this next game. Yeah, Daiatsu on it potentially his last game, and also Monk actually clarifying something in the chat. The grab in the corner there by Cherry was smart from Daiatsu. He chose to take probably a 40% rather than 100%, because otherwise it would have been down bunted and he would have actually uh, lost his stock for it. So smart option, like just smart selects by Dio to, to, to take less HP damage and taking this first stock already. Here we go. It's in, it's, it's, it's the factory. It's, it's a factory, right? It's one of the longest stages in the game. It's not quite as long as Elevator, but it's still definitely big enough that it's going to give Cherry a little bit more room to breathe. It's going to give Dio a little bit more room to breathe, too. Let's not forget they're both masters of ball control, as has been showcased throughout this tournament. So it's... Daiotsu has the two stocks right now. I'm just very curious to see where it goes from there. Oh no, Cherry getting knocked around a bit. That smash felt a little bit haphazard, but it worked out in the end. I I want to make sure that like in order in order to get back into this, Cherry's got to keep his mindset solid and not run into cheap stuff like that. Dio really thrives on being able to force options out of his opponent and force them into situations where they have to pick something. Yeah, Cherry and if so I'm not mistaken, been forcing Dio, which is why it's been working. Yeah, and if I'm not mistaken, uh, that last burst where Cherry got hit by that nickel and dime smash. That was off of Dio's serve as well, which I don't even think he was paying attention to, which really suggests a lot more panic that he's down to the wire here. Okay, I've got to cut you off right now because this is currently... Okay, never mind. This is tournament stock for Cherry right now. This is exactly. the set stock. This is the ticket stock right now going on for Cherry if he happens to lose this. Oh, my God. Oh, man. Back and forth. Back spike. Dio was ready for it that time. He actually is noticing the habit, picking up on it, and the parry is going to seal it. Dio that goes is to France. It. Dio wins the tournament. <laughs> Holy cow. This was an incredible event to work on. I have to thank all of you guys for coming out. I have to thank the players. The players and all of you guys watching right now on Twitch. You guys made this happen. Those were some crazy sets. I seriously want to go back and watch some of those sets. They were so enjoyable. I'm, I'm sure you know, know what I mean, Average. <laughs> I know. I am definitely going to be doing that again myself.
and I'm with him, the players, all of you in chat. We couldn't have done this, any of this without all of you. I am so happy that all of you came out, you enjoyed yourselves, you had a good time, that you, that everyone played so well, that everyone, ah, my goodness, it was so exciting. I'm so, I gotta, I gotta say thank you to, to the fellows over at Fellows TV, to over at Team Reptile for getting me involved in this. Yeah. I had such a good time. Seriously, Especially. guys. <laughs> Uh, I, I do want to say thank you to thank you to Team Reptile for actually funding this project, and thank you for to uh, Fellows TV for allowing us to host this. Um, and seriously, everyone involved in this, myself, Average, Monk, Defer, and even Dio, you guys don't actually know behind the scenes, he was doing some great work on this as well. Thank you guys, yeah. and <laughs> Tim Rembrandt in chat, no thank you. Nah man, thank you guys. This has been so much fun, and it's something that I've always loved to do for the scene, for the game, for just, like you guys in general. It's fun community, fun stuff. Um, yeah, honestly, first of all, uh, Average, do you have anybody you want to shout out? Do you have anything you want to talk about? Well, you know what? I got to shout out Bip over here for getting me involved. Like I said, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even be up here without him. Uh, but you know what, Cherry? It's great to see. It's great to see how far you've come. I got to shout out Coffee Ground. You know, obviously, IMT Scoover. There's everyone in the chat. That you know what? I, I there's so many people I want to thank. I don't even have time to thank. It's thank all. Uh, and near you saying give us a winner's interview. I don't even know if Dio around for winner's interview. If, if so, then I'll, I'll ask him. I'll ask him real quick if he'd be down for that. Um, but uh, while we're getting there, yeah, my my shout outs personally are like just thank you guys for making this possible and thank you guys for making this happen and like good luck to everybody who's actually going out to stun fest you're gonna get a chance to get this play this game on playstation 4 and you know console releases for switch and xbox are coming later as well mac as well um that's actually run into a couple of technical issues but they're sorting it out over at team reptile and we're looking forward to that uh, a couple of my friends who only own a mac uh looking forward to it so yeah um seriously i i can't thank you guys enough um and if you want to follow Average, uh, twitch.tv slash justanaverageguy, you can see it right there on screen. I can't uh, say that phonetically very well. If you want to follow me, I'm on Twitter, at Bitfloof. Uh, if you want to follow Fellows TV, exclamation point, Fellows TV in chat, they've got Twitter, they've got YouTube, they've got Twitch. And for goodness sake, if you want to get anybody into Blaze, just feel free to send them the playlist, um, which actually shows the 30-second uh, tutorials. There's four of them, 30-second tutorials in two minutes. You can show somebody the basics of how to watch Blaze and to some degree how to play Blaze at a competitive level so feel free to check that stuff out um sign up for combo breaker sign up for uh sorry sign up for sunfest in france and sign up for combo breaker if you guys are interested it's going to be a north american side of thing where we're also promoting that team reptiles on board with that too so seriously you guys uh you are the best and i can't thank you enough for giving me this opportunity as well you you literally don't know how much it means to me personally and you don't know how much it means to defer and you don't know how much it means to all of us who've been involved with this stuff so yeah <laughs> <laughs> all right we're gonna be calling up Daiatsu real fast for a interview along these lines and let's see all right discord doesn't make the dinging noise hello 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 ah there you are you're live awesome what's going hey. on uh nothing much really <laughs> No, just so... been playing some plays. <laughs> <laughs> you just been playing some plays. I did want to ask you a couple of questions, Dio. Of course. Yeah. Uh, first of all, you did it. Um, the first question that I really have is like, what did you think of Cherry in that grand final set? Were you expecting him to show up like that? Hmm. It was surprising, I think, to see Cherry around. But I haven't really been around recently, so I haven't really been checking out what people's been doing. Yeah, and that also leads into the next one, which is, uh, what did you think your results were going to be, or what were you really, what were you really expecting out of yourself in this tournament? Because you really did come into it. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, you weren't you weren't super heavily practicing or involved in uh, the game recently, so. Not really. I've been playing other games, but then, as the tournament came closer, I started to play some ranked, do a bit of training, that kind of stuff. Not really much though. Yeah. Still have it in me. I get you there. I get you there. And seriously, like, 
that was an impressive showing your sets were super fun to spectate oh, cool. seriously that's that always good watching you know watching you play is great fun um especially that set that grand finals against cherry because it was super back and forth and i felt like in some cases you were getting backed into a corner especially early on like you just you couldn't you couldn't like as smoothly deal with it as you like to but then then you showed up then you showed up you you pushed him out of your space so i was i was doing my homework backstage <laughs> watching the stream like okay just <laughs> letting it sink in so i'm ready and yeah. it, it paid off it seemed yeah no dude I'm, I'm i'm proud of you that was that was amazing seriously um oh, i appreciate you good. coming out and participating and i appreciate as well as i appreciate your work and your help behind the scenes on this stuff i already yeah. mentioned it loosely offhand earlier but dio is also one of the reasons why this uh whole project happened the way that it did so thank him too and yeah. seriously he's the best <laughs> yeah. it helped did dwindle towards the end because i was playing doing other things <laughs> trying to take my mind off of blaze and stuff yeah, you've been playing Sekiro, it's been cool. That game's so oh, yeah. awesome. <laughs> I've been playing Sekiro and then Monster Hunter, but get Sekiro mm. if, if you got to pick between those. Yeah, and seriously, the last question I have is just like, oh. are you are you looking forward to seeing what's going on at Stunfest? Are you looking forward to just like the event in general? Do you think it's going to be cool for people to be able to meet up and, you know, see each other out there in Europe? It'll be interesting to see who attends. Yeah. Because I did go to... a another one when the game wasn't released the first look that was interesting but i was just there for blaze that's it i didn't really look around much i just wanted to hang around there yeah and kind of help out that's what i really wanted to do yeah and yeah. honestly i'm i'm glad we have people like you and like even 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 in part like just being able to have you guys around whether whether or not you're like super involved or just taking breaks from things like it's it's amazing to have people just on uh, connected to this sort of stuff so yeah thank you for all it, that yeah it would be a shame to see it go yeah so we just want to keep it going and everyone yeah. has to have fun and as the last thing do you have anything you want to say any shout outs any any last comments uh, anything like that uh, nearly losing to gander what was that <laughs> So, yeah, that was an interesting one. <laughs> I, was I like wasn't really, I don't know what that. you were talk, saying about, but you're probably talking shit or something. <laughs> <laughs> are we allowed nah. to swear? We, just, <laughs> we, we, we are right now, don't worry about it. <laughs> so yeah. Oh, well, it is like 10 o'clock, so in the, in the UK it's fine to swear at this time. <laughs> is that how yeah. it works? <laughs> yeah, it's a certain time you can swear on television. Oh, oh, I didn't know that. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> I'm out for you from yeah. North America, right. spectating you guys across the pond. Mm. But yeah. Um, there were some upset, upsets in the tournament that was like unexpected. Oh, definitely. There were there were a lot of a, a lot of those sets played out a little bit interesting. I think Cherry was one of the biggest causes for a bit of a bracket shuffle that we didn't expect, like Cherry over Jaw Drop. Oh, yeah. well, how do they do? I like my mind's completely blank. Oh no 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 no! Like, no. Just just like Cherry took a two one over Jaw Drop. Near lost two zero to Lalu. Um, trying to see what else is going oh. on in here, but yeah. Near lost to Lala. Oh, oh, in like the bracket. That was in the Previous pools bracket. just before. Okay. Yeah, yeah, just please. before top eight. Lost to Lala. <laughs> That's how I say it. It's Lala. Uh, I'm not good That's at. I'm not good at. Dude, I had so much trouble pronouncing Kref. Kref. What's his name? Krefster. Oh. <laughs> so hard to say. <laughs> Crayfexter. Yeah, oh, Crayfexter. I, I, I haven't, I haven't yeah. really heard much, but he, he's apparently he's a curb student, which mm. you know. <laughs> you know. Anyway, <laughs> before we do anything, for curbs. It. <laughs> Seriously. Do we have to end as well? I can uh, keep going. No, no, no. I'm I'm probably gonna be closing up this interview just to make sure. You got got any shout outs or anything before we before I head out? Uh, not really. That's about it, really. Okay, cool. Not well, much to shout out. I don't really have a master, sadly. <laughs> yeah, you, you well, are, you are your own attended. man. Yeah, shout out to who the people who attended. Kicking it around. And yeah. who does Easter stuff? That's a shaming. <laughs> For seeing family. Why can't you play Blaze instead? <laughs> yeah, seriously. Anyway, uh, thank you for being involved with this dial and thank you for your participation and have a good one. I'll see you soon. Yeah, yeah see ya. And with that, we have the conclusion. 
to Jawbreakers. I hope all you guys enjoyed. I had so much fun working on this project. I've said so many good things about the people I've gotten to work with. They are my favorite people to work with and this whole event and this whole tournament and everything involved with. And I'm glad that we were able to deliver a cast that I felt was worth the build-up and worth all of the effort that went into it. Seriously, I already gave all the shout-outs. I have nothing left to say of substance. Just thank you guys. Thank you guys for making this happen. And uh, I'll see you guys soon. Uh, go play more Blaze. Uh, maybe you'll run into me on Ranked. Probably not, but there's a chance. See ya.